Larry Satchwell here. I'm going to take these horseshoes, this barn wood, and a few bottles that are on sale at Hobby Lobby right now, and turn them into a beautiful centerpiece for your hunting. All right, one of these is a little bit narrower than the other, but that's okay. I'm going to use the wide one as the bottom, and this one as the top. And the first thing I'm going to do is use my 120 grit flap sander here from my restorer and get everything cleaned up. The next thing I want to do is paint these black. It's right at freezing outside, so it's too cold to paint these outside. All I have is a gloss black. I wished it was not a gloss, but maybe I can doll it up later. Next thing I want to do is to center these up. So I want to space these out. It's looking pretty good an inch and a quarter on this side, an inch and a quarter there. It looks like an inch and seven eighths hole will do well here. So I fiddled around and got the spacing where I'm really happy with it. It is an inch and seven eighths Forstner bit I'm going to be using. And this wood is not parallel, uh, but I want it, it's really important for me to have a through hole here and then a partial hole here. So the bottle will go through the top and rest in the bottom. And so what I've done here is I've screwed these two boards together for a couple of reasons. It was impossible because of the roughness of them to uh, use any kind of a taping method, um, two-sided tape or anything like that. And um, I don't want them to move around. So since this is rough cut anyway, and there's holes all over it, it was just easier to screw them together with a few more screw holes. So now it's over to the drill press to get these holes drilled. With everything cut out, it's time for some assembly. So to keep these lined up, there is one bottle that's bigger than the others. And I did have to enlarge one of the holes. But to keep this lined up, I'm going to put two bottles in. And I think that's about the right height. And I like that a lot. I have these little finishing screws that fit really well into this. I'm going to have to drill a different hole, drill a new hole between these two. Easy enough to drill a small hole there. This, uh, these horseshoes are made out of Pretty light metal. I should have taken the piece of wood to the store. But a little rasping. There we go. I like it. I'm going to put a clear matte finish on it. I thought about putting a dry brush of white or red maybe on it, but I think clear is going to work.
here's the finished product. I'm pretty happy with it. If you're sweetie as an equestrian, they won't have any trouble getting horseshoes for you. And it makes a nice centerpiece. Thanks for watching.